Arizona. Hi and welcome to Football Friday Night. We've got action all over Southern Arizona. I'm Jason Barr. And I'm Erica Weston. We're turning the calendar to September, but not before we stop and remember a coaching legend. Amphi playing its first home game since the passing of Vern Friedley. Erica, you were there at Friedley Field tonight. Yeah, it was a special moment before the game. Friedley won over 300 games. That includes a state championship for the Panthers. But tonight, both teams were looking for wins. Sharon Freely, you see they're part of the coin toss tonight and a moment of silence for her husband. Tough night, though, for the Panthers. First quarter, the snap goes way over quarterback Jose Garcia's head into their own end zone. That is a safety for flowing well. So they keep the possession on the kickoff. Still in the first with good field position. Blake Bishop gets the handoff. Muscles past a few defenders into the end zone for the score. They would missed the extra point, though. 8 nothing flowing wells to the second. Same score. Dylan Allison hands it off to Anthony Dorado as he powers his way into the end zone. They would go for two here, and it's Bishop again with the handoff who easily gets into the end zone for the two point conversion. Flowing Wells wins easily 33 to nothing. All right, how about Shadow Ridge at Sienega? The Bobcats can put up points and they can do so in a hurry of seven nothing in the first. Jamari Joyner to Terrell Hayward. This is a 67 yard scoring strike. Sienega takes a 14 nothing lead. Then with it 17 nothing in the second. Bobcats on defense. Hayward with the interception, and he's going to make it an 88-yard pick six. So Hayward, we saw him score on offense. He scores here on defense. Can he do it on special teams? I have a good feeling. Yeah, you're right. Sure enough, this is a punt return, and the five foot nine junior takes it back to the 61-yard score. Sienega wins big tonight. Final on this one, 51 to six. Next stop, we're going to the northwest side. Marana hosting McClintock. The Tigers are coming off that wild 57-50 loss to Sienega. And it was a breakout game for Marana quarterback Trenton Bourget. He threw for nearly 500 yards last week. But remember, the Tigers started the season 0-2. Closing minutes before the first half ends. Tigers lead 21-7. It's Borget who drops way back. He'd eventually air this one way out to his wide receiver, Diego Miranda, who comes up with it in the end zone for the score. Tigers lead 28-7 at the break. Second half now, McClintock trying to get something going. Xavier Benitez tries to hit William Roberts downfield, but he can't hang on to it. Next series on offense, Benitez again rolls out to the right, hits Sergio Medina at the 15-yard line, but he's knocked out of bounds. Tough night for McClintock. Miranda wins 42-13. To the south side we go for Maricopa at Desert View. Jaguar Stadium, slow start on defense for Desert View. And this is Rams QB Alex Smith, Smith calling his own number and taking it in for the score, 7-0 Maricopa. Later in the first, Jaguar strike back. Gabriel Ware to Chris Aros, and Aros splits two defenders, turns on the afterburner, Downfield he goes, 59-yard touchdown reception. We are tied at seven, but Maricopa goes on to win this game. Final in this one, 33 to 20. All right, now Choya is off to a strong start behind dual threat quarterback Jordan Porter. Yeah, the Chargers have scored at least 50 points in their first two games at Catalina Foothills tonight to take on Jeff Skurin's Falcons. A good test for Choya. First quarter action, no score. The Falcons. Isaiah Bay takes the handoff and Bay is going to scamper 19 yards for the touchdown. The home team strikes first, 7-0 Catalina Foothills. They're loving it up there. All right, Bay. so what about Jordan Porter, right? Trying to make something happen, uh, but he's going to be hit and stripped by Dawson Hand. Catalina Foothills recovers, but Porter would come back. Boy, this is a great individual play. Avoids the rush stays alive, makes it happen, is going to find A.J. Blair for a touchdown. Wow. Great play there, but the Falcons win this game 56-25. All right, Rincon at Mountain View in between a game between two teams looking for their first win. First quarter, no score. It was a good night for the running backs. Off of a turnover, Wyatt Adams takes the hand off all the way to the house. That's the first points of the season for Mountain View. It's 6-0 Lions. Now still first quarter, same score. Varney Larson, this time he takes the hand off, and it's nothing but green in front of him. That's a house call. Mountain View wins easy, 63 to nothing. And Arizona football opens its season against NAU tomorrow night at home. Yeah, the Wildcats have won 16 straight home openers at Arizona Stadium. It's going to be an 8 o'clock game on the Pac-12 network. All right, for Erica Weston, I'm Jason Barr. Uh, we're going to be right back here on KGON 9 at 10. Stay with us.